So today we're going to be doing a little run to see which is more efficient, a Model Y or a Volkswagen E-Up, the smallest electric vehicle currently built by Volkswagen. It shares the platform with uh, Skoda and Seat, but nevertheless, it is a Volkswagen Up, electric, uh, 80 horsepower, and then we have a brand new Model Y, well, three months old, and we're gonna go for about a 50 kilometers trip that is basically half highway, half city. It does go up and down, so on the way back, we're gonna have very low consumption, both of us, because the uh, recuperation is gonna do a lot of um, recuperating. <laughs> but in the end, we'll see which one's more efficient. A big family SUV, or one of the smallest electric vehicles you can get currently in Europe. Uh, one major difference between them, aside from you know the horsepower, the weight, the size, etc., is that the E-Up doesn't actually have any active cooling for the battery, so it's just a battery, that's it, while the Model Y obviously has a lot of active cooling and a lot of extra things going on. But So it's a, it's a much simpler vehicle, but it's uh, very good. So we've had these things for, we have two of them, had them for over three years, and they've done a great job. And... Uh, their, their efficiency has always been fantastic. So let's see which one wins. Okay, so here we are inside the Tesla. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset trip A. Okay, there we go. And uh, temperatures on 22.5. Put on manual on three with AC on and just leave it that way. Outside temperature is roughly 25 degrees. So yeah, here we go, let's do this. So we've done seven kilometers. Uh, average consumption is 168 watts per kilometer. And we're just about to go on the highway. And this is where things might get interesting. But yeah, so far so good. Looks like it dropped to 159 watts now. We're doing pretty good. So there's our competition, just up ahead, and we are currently using 17.2 watt hours. So that's our average so far. Okay, so we just managed to stop. Uh, we got off the highway and we are currently looking at 163 watts per kilometers. So that's 16.3 watt hours per 100 kilometers. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what the up got. What do you have? Surprise. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So 15.9 kilometer uh, watt hour per 100 kilometers. Not bad. A little bit better than the Tesla but quite close and the temperature is set to auto 22.5 just like the Tesla. Right, on we go. Now we do the city test aspect and see uh, what they get in the, in the mixed environment. So the previous drive was basically highway only and now we're gonna be doing, uh, well, B roads, I guess you could call them. Uh, top speed on these roads around 90 kilometers per hour. We're just gonna basically stick with the traffic and see where that gets us. So we're just going through a city and there's a bit of stop and go traffic, uh, going a little bit slow, but it's only about 10 kilometers. Then we're back on the E road, the European roads. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, so now we're back in the city. We had a bit of a situation where the up reset his trip a little sooner than he was supposed to. So we both reset a little while back so we've dri driven in trip a 16 kilometers and our average right now is 22 watt hours per kilometer meaning 2.2 kilowatts per 100 kilometers so i think that's pretty good there was a bit of downhill so that's definitely why but we have another about seven eight kilometers left and we'll see what we get when we uh when we stop okay so uh now we've done a few more kilometers so looking at trip A, we're at 24 kilometers. 
and uh, so far the average is 59 watt hours per kilometer meaning that's uh, 5.9 kilowatts per 100 kilometers so that's, that's pretty good obviously you know there was that bit downhill um, I guess at the end of the day we'll just compare with the up and we'll just see what the difference is see which one uh, did better okay so we've come to a complete stop and uh, let's see what we have so trip A, 27 kilometers, 6.4 kilowatts per 100 kilometers. And let's have a look at the up. Okay, so let's shut the door. 5.7. So that's a little lower, but very close. So that's roughly what 0.6 kilowatt hour difference for a vehicle that is much much larger and uh, obviously much more powerful this one has 80 horsepower the model y has 300 in terms of weight i believe this weighs 1200 kilos and the model y i weighed it myself weighs 850 860 kilos so yeah the up is more efficient basically uh, but not by much. We're talking well under 10%. Actually, it's about, well, in this particular case, it was 10%. But nevertheless, the difference is quite small considering the size of the vehicles. Um, they've both done very well. And uh, I'm not sure who's the winner. I guess the up is the winner. But at the same time, the Y is the winner for how efficient it is considering its size, power, weight, etc.